<clears throat> Thank you very much, uh, Sarah. Uh, as you know, on January the 23rd, President Trump officially recognized the president of the Venezuelan National Assembly, Juan Guaido, as the interim president of Venezuela. Venezuela's National Assembly uh, invoked Article 233 of the country's constitution to declare Nicolas Maduro illegitimate. This action was a statement that the people of Venezuela have had enough of oppression, corruption, and economic hardship. Since then, 21 other governments in the region and across the world have joined the United States in recognizing Guaido as Venezuela's interim president. Uh, today, and I'll turn the uh, podium over to Steven Mnuchin for this purpose, we're going to announce sanctions against Petroleus de Venezuela, Sociedad Anima, or PDVSA, as it's known by its Spanish acronym, the state-owned oil monopoly. Uh, we have continued to expose the corruption of Maduro and his cronies, and today's action ensures they can no longer loot the assets of the Venezuelan people. Now is the time to stand for democracy and prosperity in Venezuela. I reiterate that the United States will hold Venezuelan security forces responsible for the safety of all U.S. diplomatic personnel, the National Assembly, and President Guaido. Any violence against these groups would signify a grave assault on the rule of law and will be met with a significant response. Is there any circumstance under which American forces would get involved? Look, the President has made it very clear on this, uh, uh, on this matter that all options are on the table. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. With the blocked accounts, what would be the mechanism? The United States is holding accountable those responsible for Venezuela's tragic decline. We will continue to use all of our diplomatic and economic tools to support interim President Guaido, the National Assembly, and the Venezuelan people's efforts to restore their democracy. PDVSA has long been a vehicle for embezzlement, for corruption, for Venezuelan officials and businessmen. Today's designation of PDVSA will help prevent further diversion of Venezuela's assets by Maduro and will preserve these assets for the people of Venezuela where they belong. Expeditious transfer of control 